Hey, and this is Brandon sending over that uh, free short video with a couple of tips in here that hopefully you guys can utilize, uh, you know, right away and then, uh, you know, in the future. Um, if you're looking for a few more, we can maybe help you out. Uh, you're probably wondering why I send these videos over. Um, reality is, as I know small business owners, uh, people involved in the company a lot of times don't have time to take care of things like this. Um, sometimes even the knowledge or the know-how, uh, much less the want to. So uh, we send these things over here, hopefully uh, can make an immediate impact. And then uh, later on down the line, like I said, if you you know you take a look back at this and say, you know what, that Brandon guy kind of knows what he's talking about. We'd like to take this thing to the next level. Um, you know, now you can say you know somebody that uh, you know knows how to do a, a few things here. Uh, so getting right into it, the three things that I go over um, are content and keywords. The second thing is citations, and then lastly is referring domains and, and backlinks. Um, I, I go over these three things because these are three things that Google looks at as well as far as their algorithms are concerned and how, how they rank people and uh, how they get you listed um, and in what order. So um, first thing we look at is content keywords uh, inside that content. Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 uh, words of content on the web page here. So just going in here and adding some, you know, some content um, is going to do you guys a lot of favors. So make sure that in the content, you are focusing on what I call buyer intent keywords. What are people typing into Google? What are they searching for? That Google is going to know that based on those keywords that they just typed in, what website are they going to point them towards? All right. So that's the mindset to have when putting keywords in here. What do you guys want to be you know, found for? Um, and not so much what do you want to be found for, but how are potential customers typing that into Google? Um, so if you're out of Green Bay, um, you know, Green Bay Plumbing, Plumbing Green Bay, um, Green Bay Heating and Cooling, Heating and Cooling of Green Bay, um, you know, those type of things there. If you if you got a niche that you focus on, whether it be water heaters or pipe leaks, uh, you can niche down, uh, you know, drain cleaning. Um, make sure you got those keywords stuffed in that content. So more content full of buyer intent keywords going to do you a lot of favors. Um, moving on to citations. What is a citation? Uh, if I type in plumbing Green Bay and look at the top three companies that come up in what we call the map pack, it is because they have the most citations. And a citation is simply this. When you verified your business on Google, the Google My Business verification, you filled out your business name, uh, company address, email, and phone number. And any place you can get that on the web is a citation, okay? So go out there and shout from the rooftops and say, you know, um, we have a business just like it's listed on Google, listed on Yelp, listed on Thumbtack, listed on Home Advisor, listed on Angie's List, um, listed on blogs, listed on social medias. Uh, anywhere you can list your business name, email, address, phone number, just like you did on, on the Google My Business verification, that counts as, as a citation. The more citations you have, you know, to the victor go the spoils. Um, you're going to find yourself, you know, in this map pack. So any place you can get on there, I, you know, urge you to get on there. It's only going to do you a favor and it's going to get you on the, on the map pack. Now, just because you have a bunch of citations and you get into this map pack doesn't mean that you're going to rank, uh, down here in the organic listings. Um, there are times where people are up here, they do a great job on citations, and they're happy with that because they're in the top of the page, um, they're in the map pack. Um, but based on certain customers, some people don't even bother to look in the map pack. They go right down to the organics because they really honestly think these are all ads and they don't want to deal with that. So it's good to have you know, a mix of citations to be in the map pack and you know, to be down here ranked organically. And how do we get ranked organically? Well, that's going to do with... You know, multiple things, keywords, content, backlinks, referring domains, and to figure that all out where you kind of stand, um, I use a tool called Arefs. Anybody can use this tool. Um, it does cost a monthly fee to get this information. Obviously, I need this. Um, but on here, it's going to show you where, where you stand with backlinks, referring domains, what keywords you're actually getting hit up for. Um, and ultimately, the big number here is how much traffic your website generates monthly. Um, 
So before we get there, backlinks, what is a backlink? A backlink is any place out there on the web that you have a link that if somebody clicks on it, it goes back, it sends them back to your website. So we want to get as many links out there, um, whether it be on you know, guest posts or uh, blog posts, uh, social media, different uh, web pages. Um, get as many of those out there as possible. It shows Google that you know, you're in business, uh, you're partnering with different you know, people in your industry, uh, you're a reputable company, uh, you're willing to put, you know, you go on a guest post or a blog, write some information about that company, um, and you leave your business name, which is which is a link back to your website. They look at that as good business. Um, what they don't look at as good business is going out and getting backlinks and leaving stuff on a bunch of irrelevant posts, irrelevant things to your industry just for the sake of getting backlinks and they'll actually ding you for that. So make sure that you're getting, you know, good, strong, powerful backlinks. Um, and then obviously once you start putting more content on your web page, you're going to, you know, get hit for more keywords um, and keywords. You're going to want, like I said, buyer intent keywords. Um, don't just put, you know, your company name because that's already unique. Um, if people are searching for your company name, they already know of you. Um, now they're just looking you up, typically for reviews. But uh, And then obviously 90, 90 people organically a month are visiting your website. So if I go back to this search I did of Plumbing Green Bay, uh, the number one organically rate company is this Vern Coomer's Plumbing. I got him in AREFs as well, and you can see he's got 860 backlinks, 93 referring domains. He's getting dinged for 1,000 keywords. But obviously the big number here is 1.4 thousand people are I shouldn't say people, it's organic views um, to his website every month. So I could be the same person, you know, multiple times. Uh, but irregardless, the traffic from, you know, 1.4 thousand to 90 is a heck of a lot more. So if you could get a thousand to 1400 more people viewing your website uh, a month, I would like to think that it's going to turn into more business. And at the end of the day, more business is more money which happy customers, satisfied customers, and money uh, should be the big reasons why you're in business, right? And hopefully you enjoy what you're doing. Um, so that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, hopefully you can utilize some of these tips right away and um, you know see this thing start to turn around a little bit for you. And uh, if you're looking for a little bit of help, um, that's exactly why we do this. So uh, either way, I'm going to send this over, and I look forward to getting a little feedback from you, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise, I can take it. Hopefully, like I said, you found some value in this, and we can tangle up in the future. Talk to you later. Thanks.